So you've decided you need to use an oxygen tank to transport your patient. First, consult the oxygen tank duration table to determine your O2 needs for the trip. Locate the liters per minute that you'll use and the expected duration of the trip to determine how much PSI you'll need. First, select an oxygen tank from the full cylinder storage rack. Per OSHA regulations, the tank valve should be closed or off when not in use. Begin by rotating the toggle counterclockwise at least one full turn, then rotate the flow regulator knob to the desired flow setting. Wait up to 15 seconds to verify that the pressure gauge reading is stable and that the PSI will meet your travel needs. If you forget to open the valve or mistakenly close it, watch what can happen. As you set the flow regulator knob, oxygen will flow initially, but if you don't wait for the pressure gauge reading to stabilize, you could fail to identify that oxygen flow has stopped because the valve is actually closed. This is a serious safety risk. Once the reading is stabilized and flow is confirmed, attach the oxygen modality and proceed with transport. If traveling to a department with a wall oxygen source, switch to that wall source as soon as possible to avoid emptying the tank. When finished with the oxygen tank, assess the pressure gauge. If greater than 500 PSI, return it to the full cylinder storage rack. If the PSI is less than 500, place the tank in the empty cylinder storage rack. Close the tank's valve by rotating the toggle clockwise until tight. The pressure gauge should depressurize at this point. Then verify the flow regulator knob is set to zero.